combined standard deviation. So in this video we will be studying about the combined standard deviation. So it is if we can calculate the combined mean, so it is very easy to calculate the standard deviation of two or more groups simultaneously. So standard deviation of combined mean is denoted by 1, 2, 3. And the standard deviation of the series will be combined standard deviation will be CN1 that is the number of observation in the series into standard deviation of 1 series square plus if there are 3 series I am talking about then the other series total observation then standard deviation of the second series square plus your number of observation on the third series into standard deviation of the third series square this is fine now after that there are three series if there are three series so what you will do till three you have done everything now what you will do you will find out the stand uh, n1 that is the number of observation in series 1 into deviation 1 square plus number of observation in series 2 deviation of series 2 square plus number of observation of th th third series deviation of third series square divide by the number of observation of all the series so there are three series so this now you know that this is your standard deviation of the series if it's first series then it will be one if it's second series it will be two if it's third series it will be three so you have to take the standard deviation square right and you know that is this is the total number of observations right now what is d in this case if i'm talking about the first series then d1 is the x bar of first series that is the mean of first series minus it is the deviation taken from the combined mean from the there are three series so one two three the combined mean of the three series the deviation to is same way the deviation taken from the combined mean of the mean series two this is the mean of the series two subtracting the combined mean d3 is the mean of the series three minus the combined mean of the series right now if you are given only two series then what is the formula it will be n1 standard deviation of 1 plus n2 standard deviation square of second series n1 into deviation of first series square plus n2 into deviation of second series square divided by n1 plus n2 so how many series will be there will be adding on to it right so let's do the question on this and solve the question. Now this is the question that two sample of size 100 and 150 respectively have mean 50 and 60 and standard deviation is 5 and x. Now there are two samples. So let's stay, uh, assume the first sample is 1 and the second sample is 2. So we are given the size which means we are given the n1 as 100 n2 as 150 now we are given the means 50 and 60 so mean of first series is 50 and mean of second series is 60 now the standard deviation of the first sample is 5 and the standard deviation of the second sample is 6 now we have to find out the combined mean as well as the combined standard deviation so first find out the combined mean That is x bar of 1 and 2 combined. The formula was n1 x bar 1 plus n2 into x bar 2 divided by n1 plus n2. 100 into 50 plus 150 into 60 divided by 100 plus 150. So the combined mean comes out to be. 
5000 plus 9000 divided by 250 which is 14000 divided by 250 which is equal to 56 is your combined mean. Now for the combined standard deviation the formula was n1 into standard deviation of 1 square plus n2 into standard deviation of 2 square plus n1 d1 square plus n2 d2 square divided by n1 plus n2. We have n1 and n2 given. We have standard deviation given so we can find out the squares 25, 36. Now we have to find out the deviation which is x bar of 1 minus the combined x a uh, combined mean so 50 minus 56 is minus 6 but you are taking the square so it becomes 36 then if I have to take the deviation 2 which means the mean of second C, uh, sample minus the combined mean so 60 minus 56 is 4 and you are taking again the square so it becomes 4 for the 16. So you can easily find out the standard deviation combined by putting up all the values. N1 is 100 into square is 25 plus N2 is 150 into square is 36 plus n1 is 100 into d1 square is 36 plus 150 into d2 square is 16 divide by 250 so you will solve this so you will get an answer as 13900 divided by 250 so you get under root 55.67.46 is your answer. That is your combined standard deviation. So I hope you have understood this. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.